energy consumption by every man, woman, and child increases, the resources needed to meet that demand decreases. The human race needs to utilize renewable forms of energy, such as wind power. Wind farms using massive wind power generators are slowly being developed around the world. Our experiment tries to identify which design <clears throat> of, for the turbines is the best. Our question is, how much voltage is generated by a wind turbine when varying the number of blades, the blade design, the blade composition, and the blade pitch? Our hypothesis is, the greatest amount of voltage will be produced by a wind power generating generator using four blades, tra trapezoidal design, cardboard material, and a blade pitch of 10 degrees. We thought four blades will have more surface area for the air to push against. The trapezoidal blade design will allow the air to flow against the blade with minimal resistance. A cardboard blade will be lighter than the plastic, so it would be easier to flow. The best pitch would be 10 degrees, which will allow more surface area again, and it would uh, be uh, more efficient to move. Our materials were 2.5 centimeter uh, PVC 90 degree elbows, um, which were five, um, three 2.5 inch uh, PVC T fittings, 60 inch length of one, um, what? Oh, 60 inch length of uh, PVC pipe, uh, 15 inch length of PVC pipe, 2.5 diameter uh, DC motor, one hub, which is here and there, um, uh, one simple LCD motor, one protractor, and uh, six point, uh, 0.625 diameter wood dowels, um, we also used a saw, drill, scissors, tape, and a fan. Our procedure was using four 90 PVC fittings, two T's, and a 15.24 centimeter PVC pipe sections, construct the two sides of the PVC turbine base, which is these parts here. Um, Fit the parts together. You can together. put it on the front desk if you'd like. Oh, okay. <laughs> fit the parts together without using glue. To make them fit snugly, tap them together with a hammer. Connect the two sides of the base using the PVC T hole. <clears throat> the, P the hole will allow you to sneak out the wires from the DC motor. Slide the generator head onto the tower, which is right here, in the back. Oh. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Are you going to cut that corner? Yeah, Slide out there. The hole in the PVC T at the center of the base. <clears throat> Attach the tower to the base. Attach the wires into the multimeter, which we ran through down here, and it attaches here. Um, attach the blades using the um, onto the hub using the dowels, and uh, attach the hub to the DC motor, and DC stands for direct current. To start the fan, and we um, watch as the motor generated voltage. Okay, for analysis. The independent variables we use for the number of blades used, the pitch, which is the angle of the blades, the design of the blades, and the composition of the blades. The controlled variables were the speed of the fan, the distance of the turbine away from the fan, and the size of the blades. For our experiment, we think that the data we got did properly represent our experiment because the highest amount of voltage closely re resembled modern day turbines. Future testing would involve recording wind speed and trying different s size of blades. Our data showed that the greatest amount of voltage was produced with three plastic semicircle blades at 30 degrees. The
conclusion of our experiment, we learned that sometimes less is more. Our hypothesis was that four blades will produce more voltage than three blades. The da data clearly indicated the opposite. The three blade design generated more voltage. It seems that the three blade design provided the optimal area for the air to pass over with the least amount of drag. Our experiment was successful because we were able to generate electricity using a small DC motor and wind. You can leave it off, AJ. How spread it. We did some further research and we learned about um, older generators and present and future generators. So the in the past, generators were um, made in the first century, actually, by a Greek engineer, the Heron of Alexandria. Most windmills were used to produce food, well, to grind cereal, and they used a V-post blade design. And here are some pictures of the V-post. So, in the present, which is right now, um, the windmill design um, has evolved so that can be, so they are larger and more efficient and they also produce energy instead of just um, produce the grinding cereal. So, and most um, wind farms are large areas of land or sea uh, that contain many turbines to generate large quantities of energy. And this is just a close-up picture, and these are some turbines on uh, the sea. So, um, in the future, uh, blade designs are evolving. So, they um, include many different shapes and sizes, like these. Um, windmills are no longer confined to a hilltop or a plain, like a field. They can be in many different places, as you can see, a bridge. And uh, we saw one picture of one between building, two buildings. Mm -hmm. So technology is consistently making wood mills more efficient, producing more energy, and with less cost. Okay, so for the resources, we use WW, the internet, we use windmillworld.com. We use the Union of Concerned Scientists and some other websites. And the top 10 countries using wind energy efficiently is the U.S., Germany, India, France, the United Kingdom, Spain, China, Italy, Denmark, and then Portugal. So, this was, huh? um, we use, uh, this is our best blade design that worked. We, um, this three blade semicircle, and, um, the data shows, if you can see it, the data here shows that this blade pitch, 30 degrees, made a high with three blades. And these were really close, so we couldn't really, with this one, we couldn't really tell which one was higher, but we knew that this was a little bit higher because it started flashing a little bit. So, um, these are data tables, and um, this is the hub, and these in the back are the dowels, and we use clips from. And then this is the motor that we use, the DC motor, and as I said before, this is uh, direct current. So it'll sh the wires are through here, and so I'll show you how it works. There you go. If you want to tangle it, it will go further. There you go. Very good.
you can see that some of the lights here are, I don't know if anyone can really see them. I can see. But, Would you guys like to show some of your blade designs that you have? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And then any questions can be answered. So let them show their blade designs first. Um, so these were, I'm not going to show like all, but this was an example of our cardboard trapezoid ones. And this was our cardboard semicircle. And this was the trapezoid plastic thing. And these are the semicircle plastic ones. That's it. Very nice. Does anyone have any questions? For sure. Uh, you know how there are some farms that we know? What do they use? They use, I, I think, um, the farms, they would use them either to export, um, to produce energy for themselves or cities nearby. Yeah, they, they get some more kit or they get some more We make them. Well, yeah, <laughs> except for this part, we needed to get this from somewhere, but we made the rest of this good. Yeah. Wait, so you guys brought like all the PVC pipes? Yeah. 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 Did you use any other materials all for your blade? Um, no, we just used this in the cardboard. Okay. Okay. Um, you said these wood nails, they conserve energy and give it to other like other places that need like power. Yeah. So where does all this energy go to? Where is it going? No. Is this this yeah. energy probably to help help right now? Like no, not no, right, no, right no, now. Right now, right now it's wired. It's wired right to the voltmeter. Oh. Yeah. But like if it was a regular big wind turbine, it would be probably connected to a power. Oh. So. Wind turbines to a power plant. Pretty sure they use wires. <laughs> so it's not power enough, powerful enough to power an electrical device. No, probably it's power, powerful enough to do a battery. Oh, that's One that makes. Uh, see, that's a free energy. All right, thank you guys very much. Good, good job.